Now that we've created top surfaces for primary street and secondary street, we have all the information necessary to create our proposed profiles to connect the primary street edge of pavement to the secondary street edge of pavement in all four quadrants. Let's start with the northwest quadrant. I'll select the northwest return alignment, and then I'm going to pull some surface profiles. I'll come up to the ribbon and click the surface profile button. I'm going to sample two surfaces. I'll select primary street top. I'll hold my control key and I'll choose secondary street west approach top. I'll click add. I will then select both of my profiles. I'll hold my shift key to do that and we'll choose a style. In this case I'm going to go with the F dot existing grade. I'm choosing this style so I can easily tell the difference between these profiles that were created from a surface versus the proposed profile that I'm going to create in just a minute. Let's come down and choose draw and profile view. I'll click create profile view and then I'm going to click to place this profile view in the northwest quadrant. Note we can easily see where I have to make the connection between the two surfaces. To create the proposed profile, I will select the profile view. I'll click Profile Creation Tools. I will then click the Name Template. I'll click Insert. This will name the profile the alignment name, and I'll type dash FG for finished grade. I'll click OK. Let's go with the F dot proposed grade style, and then we'll use the F dot Design 10 Vertical Exaggerated Above Label style. I'll click OK. Since I'm making a straight line connection, I'm just going to use this icon on the far left side of the toolbar, and I'll draw my connection from the end point here. Let me turn off my ortho, and I'll draw this to the end point here. I'll press enter when finished. I can then close the toolbar. That's one. Let's take care of the profile for the northeast quadrant. I will select that alignment. We'll create some surface profiles. We'll pull this through primary street top and secondary street east approach top. I will then select both of the profiles and we'll select a style. We'll make these existing grade as well and I'll click OK. I'll choose draw on profile view, create profile view. We'll place this one in the northeast quadrant. Once again, very easy to see where we have to make the connection. To create the proposed profile, I will select the profile view. I'll choose profile creation tools. We'll click the name template, insert. This one will also be the alignment name, dash FG. We'll keep the same styles we used last time. I'll click OK. I'm going to make a straight line connection from the end point of this profile to the end point of this one. When I'm finished, I'll close the toolbar. Let's do the southeast quadrant this time. Same workflow, we'll select the alignment. We'll pull our surface profiles through primary street top and secondary street east approach top. We'll select our styles. I will then draw the profile view and then we'll create the new profile. Let's give it a name, the alignment name dash FG. I'll click OK. It's just going to be a straight line connection from one side to the other. Finally we'll do the southwest alignment. I'll select this. We'll take care of the surfaces. Styles. and we'll draw the profile view. I will then create the proposed profile using the same styles and we're going to connect this from the end point of one profile to the end point of the other. When I'm finished I'll press enter, we'll close the toolbar and then we'll back up and take a look. Now that we've created our proposed profile connections between the corridor models, we are almost ready to close up these gaps. Before we can start building these corridor connections, though, we need to create some additional targets, and we'll do that in the next session.